Hello world, human sustainability here. I'm not sure how easily you can see that. Um, I pre-drilled some holes and there's like little um, countersunk cups there. I've got two on each end and I've got three through the middle of it, right? So uh, that should be enough to just hold the board, you know, hey board, stay here. This is where I want you to stay. Um, the screws I'm going to be using is, are these, and if you can see this, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's got like a little washer on it, and then it's got that little cup down there, and the, they're very, there we go. I'm trying to show you what kind of blade they've got. So they'll, they'll, they're big, they're, they're tough uh, screws. Last, last season, the screws I was using um i mean they worked but you know five or six times in and out and i'd break them or whatever they, they were pretty weak screws so i wanted to get something a little bit stronger pick these up and uh you can see i've got one in here and it's flush it's flush on the board and you know it's down here right so flush on up on top and then this and when i screw it down in you know pull the board down uh, for for that first cut and how I did that was simple you know I used just a, a drill bit the tree pre-drill and then a spade drill a spade bit to, to get that cup out now these screws um, you see that they're not like a standard screw they're these torque drivers these are t30s I'm not sure if you can see the end of that but it's a t30 torque uh, screw so um, I got some of those tools. I got, I don't know, four of these, I think, because, you know, who knows, right? You lose one and you're, you're screwed. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. I think the solution's going to work. Uh, in fact, I might even try a first cut here this weekend on this, this here log here. Um, you know, I got everything there that, that I need. Now, um, this board will be... I'll, I'll use this one here for the edge mill. Um, some assembly still required. There's no holes in it yet. I don't have to countersink on this uh, because of the way the edge mill works. And when we get there, I'll show you that. But it's kind of like a bridge. It's like this. And there are, there's rails that it, it walks on, you know, it rides on. So I got to put the rails on here, assemble the, the rails. And then I have to... Um, you know pre-drill holes so that i can uh, uh dr you know put this into the into the wood uh, um onto the to the log in order to do the edge uh, so i haven't done that yet um not quite there uh, I, I checked the screws i don't have i i have a phillips head screw with me i don't have a, a standard and um i think that they're standard so yeah i mean <laughs> i'll get to it I will, I will get it work done, right? Uh, but I think that I'm going to test this solution here right now. Um, a little excited to, oh, okay, I'm milling, right? Uh, no fire. I still don't have any fire yet. Bugs are getting a little bit crazy. Um, and yeah, just, just, a, I mean, even the, the most minor amount of work and I am, I'm just dripping water, uh, drinking a lot of, drinking an awful awful lot of water uh, I, I don't think that I'm drinking enough I can already feel that my mouth is getting a little dry so I'm gonna go pound some more water um, and then retrieve the brush cutter and the, the chainsaw the Ryobi from back in there bring them back into camp and then go get the gas gas saw and uh, you know put this on and see if I can see if it works see if this solution will work for me uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it will, uh, these boards, I mean, this will give me 12 foot, right? And the moment that I have 12 foot, uh, even, even if I'm just planking, um, that 12 foot gives me, uh, a lot of options in terms of, of, you know, how, how I'm going to do the boardwalk and, and so on. Um, I was going to, I'll talk about that later, uh, you know when when we're actually at the boardwalk i got a lot of milling to do first so uh yeah um 
I'm looking at these trees like they're lumber now, not not so much. And like this guy here, you see how snaky he is? Yeah, um, that, I'm not going to get real good wood out of that, I don't think. Um, so, you know, you work with what you got, I got, I guess. So, um, and I've got all these here that, um, you know, 12 foot long chunk is is pretty heavy uh, so you know if i were to cut that off and try to drag it out that's heavy um milling in place maybe i you know i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to do there i may have to just bring the recovery gear back in here and uh, uh you know try to try to drag these things out get some get i don't know i'll probably need uh uh, at least at least three to one um, mechanical advantage uh, to just drag even 12 foot sections out of here um, but yeah I mean this is my lumber I need to get it out here so that I can mill it um, but yeah I, I mean I'm still I'm still dealing with the mess that's back in here got housekeeping to do and I will I'll get the housekeeping done you can be assured of that um, it's just going to take time I mean it's just every everything that you do is it, it looks like I haven't done anything <laughs> I'm like where'd all my effort go you know where did all my labor go to and and aside from this little trail back here and I, I showed this to you in a previous video but aside from this uh this trowel back in here that I broke, which is obvious that I opened it up. I mean, that's, that's obvious that I opened that up, right? So aside from that, the rest of the stuff that I've done is just like, you know, you can't even tell that I've done any work at all. Um, but I know slow and steady wins the race. Um, this is all firewood that is, and it's low hanging fruit, right? Um, so I will be pulling this out and gradually moving it further and closer and closer to uh, camp so that I can I can burn it. Um, it's not really good. It's like heating wood, but I mean for just a campfire, it's fine. Um, same same with this over here, and I got a bunch of stuff there. And I mean you can just see back in here all this downed lumber. Uh, it's not even lumber. It's just rotted wood uh, you know i mean just everywhere you everywhere you turn there's just a pile of hey come burn me sticks um and i want to get that cleaned up i i mean obviously in the areas that i'm going to be in i'm going to clean it up but eventually i'd like to get the entire woods cleaned up um just because i mean it's kind of a fire hazard and i know woods don't need people to survive and do well and all that kind of jazz but uh, just having somebody out out there kind of taking care of them uh, you know I might be able to to thin out the forest a bit so that the trees that are growing grow stronger and healthier and, and so on um, just because they don't have as much uh, competition because I mean you look at something like this and this cluster I mean yeah, fine, that's great, except like this tree doesn't have any green on top of it. So I think that tree right there is dead, <laughs> you know? I mean, so yeah, I mean, lots of stuff and there's a, there's a dead one there. There's all kinds of standing dead trees back in here uh, that, that I need to take down. So, and, and I will, I mean, it won't show, but I'll, I'll get to work. I'll be working it, uh, and and hopefully at some point it'll start to show. Just like just like last year, uh, you know, all the work that I did just to clear around all those trees so I could bring those trees down into into the campsite, um, and then I brought them all down and made a big mess. But uh, if you recall all the the videos from last year, um, it didn't look like I was getting anything done, and then all of a sudden in a space of like two weeks it all just kind of came together you know i just pulled the big pieces out essentially uh after i cleared around them all um to get that done so that's kind of the way this this goes um anybody that's ever worked on raw land like this this is just all 
you know, old growth raw land uh, that hasn't had any real human intervention in it in a very, very long time. Uh, and I drive by, I drive by other uh, houses on the road that are well settled, right? They have a nice forest around them and they're well settled and they've been there for a while. And, you know, you can, you can tell they've got the, the house there and you look around the, the trees around the, that are near the house and it's all cleared out around there and the trees are healthy. And it's like, I am so jealous. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll get there. I mean, it takes time it takes it takes a, a lot of labor to get stuff like this done um and you know one day one day a week essentially you know i get a saturday because i drive up here on a friday and then i got to drive back on a sunday um until i can you know work out here um do do my day job from from here uh and i'm you know i'm working toward that as well um in fact i did do I want to take these back with me. I did um, check with my Starlink on my phone, and I think next year, uh, you know, if I if I clear just one area that's kind of to the west there of trees, I might have enough of the sky to to bring a Starlink back in here. Um, I'm also going to. I haven't talked to my ISP yet about you know using data because I'm on a different network out here and so on. Um, but you know, if my phone, if my phone will do it, you know, maybe I can get in a couple extra days a week out here, uh, where after I'm done working, I can, you know, done doing the day job. I can, uh, I can then do some puttering around and I mean, just, just carrying this firewood, you know, just grabbing this firewood and taking it back into camp, you know, just picking up, this is stuff that I brushed hog, just picking that up and getting it out of the way instead of just laying here, right? I mean, just minor stuff like that that takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you work up a sweat doing, and it doesn't look like you've done anything, right? Because what? Oh, oh big deal. You've got a trail, right? <laughs> it's, you, you look at this, and it's like, oh, yeah, so what? So you cleared that trail out. Yeah, so what? You know, and it's like, well, but dude, you don't understand, you know? This took me about an hour to go from that log up to that there that took me about an hour two half hour uh periods of time with a break in between uh you know 15 20 minute break to, to drink some water uh so you know an hour and a half and it's like well but you didn't really get very much done so i mean that's the that's the way this stuff goes um it's just the nature of it's the nature of the labor so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and eat more fruit. Hello, world. Well, I checked the screws, and I thought I had the tool I needed to get the thing put on there. Um, I got one rail on, and then I immediately stripped that screw, and I don't have the tool I need to, to get that out of the wood. So, unfortunately, I'm stuck. Um, yeah, that, I thought that bit would work. It didn't. For those of you who are not familiar with how an edging mill works, you need these rails here. This is, this is the mill, right? Um, the blade, the chainsaw blade goes down through this and you torque it up. And then this goes on that rail. And that's how you, that's how it stays straight right so um i didn't have to countersink i did drill the holes i didn't have to countersink these these um holes in this one and i didn't put a whole lot i only put two i put one at this end and one at the far end uh, because all i care about is this board you know moving like that right it's not going to flex in and out and so on um the important part is to make sure that that the rail that you put on is straight all the way down to the end um, and I had, like I said, I got to the second one here. I started putting this screw in and I realized, uh oh, that's, it's, it's off a little bit. So I tried to back it out. And when I tried to back it out, I ended up stripping it. So, uh, stymied, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, 
I did try to try to get this put together out here um, and I've already cleaned up all the, the screws and the tools and stuff but um, I did try to get this put together uh, once once this is is ready to go though I mean I'm in business I've got I've got the mill I got both mills right I got the, the regular sawmill and the edging mill um, so I'm in business ready to go um, yeah I <laughs> I said I was going to try to do that, but then I said, oh, no, look, I do have the right tool, except I apparently didn't. And unfortunately, you know, I'm stuck. And it's starting to get a little bit later in the day. Um, I've been drinking. I, I need to go get my other water. Um, I had I had filled this. This was completely full this morning. This guy was completely full this morning. Uh, two liters. I'm gonna po polish this off, go get the other one, um, and and yeah, you can hear my voice, right? I, I need more water, so I'm gonna polish this off, and then I'm gonna go get the other one, and I'm gonna drink at least half of the other one. I'm just sit here uh, while the sun is behind the clouds for eight seconds. Just sit here on my little boards and and drink water, um, and remunerate <laughs> um, what I got done this this weekend. Uh, once again, it doesn't look like I got a whole lot done, but uh, I'm pretty pleased. I, you know, I got, I've got the first cut board. I've got the edge mill board. Obviously, I need some work done there. Good start on the trail over um, there, and then opening that up, uh, and that's going to be a year-long thing. Um, bringing that firewood back in, a lot of work j just to get the firewood to the to the trailhead. And then from the trailhead across all of this is just so much work to get all that wood all the way over here uh, to this fire pit. So I've, I've rethought that a little bit. I think I'll, I'll pull that wood out to the trailhead and kind of, you know, get a pile going there. Um, and in, for, for this brush pile, um, I've got all this wood behind me here that is, well, I was back in there and you saw it. I've got all kinds of, of wood behind me here. Um, so I might just right here, just start, you know, going that way, uh, open up a trail straight back in here and, and pulling out the, all the fallen wood that I've got back there that I can use just for firewood. Um, please note that there are some lumber trees that have fallen back in there. Uh, so I won't be using those um, for firewood, but there's a lot of stuff back in there, um, and I need to I need to do that. I need to get this all this fresh fall wood burnt up out of the way, you know, and, and start cleaning all of this jazz that I got going on here, cleaning it out so that I can uh, get down to the business of using these fancy dancy boards I got here. <laughs> Who thought that a piece of wood would be fancy? Like, comment, subscribe and eat more fruit.